Hey, what's up folks, Michael here with Primal Edge. Today I'll show you how to design a mace in Tinkercad. I'm starting off with this ice cream cone shape. I'm not really sure what you call it. It's got a bit of a curvy look, which I like and I think works well here. Set the diameter to 80 by 80. And the height to about 70. 75 millimeters. Yeah, that looks good. Now we'll put a cylinder here for absolutely no reason. Not sure why I did this. I'll be deleting it in a bit. Meanwhile, let's pull in another cylinder and smooth out the edges. We'll set this to about 82 by 82. Slightly larger than the ice cream cone shape. We'll drag it up to the top. This slightly wider circumference is going to allow us to inset these next few shapes. And also it's going to give it a really cool ring around the perimeter. Go ahead and center everything now. Let's pull in a half sphere. Set it to about 80 by 80, same as the cone. The reason we're doing the exact same measurement there and there is because, again, like I said, we're going to be insetting this a little bit, and it'll lock everything together as well as give it a cool look. Select everything. Align it. We'll zoom in here a bit and see what we got. Yeah, see there's gaps? We'll need to close those up like this. See how it insets? Same thing here. Let me go back and adjust this first. There we go. All right. Now let's bring in a sphere. Duplicate it using Control D. Get it lined up the way we like it. Group them. And we'll place it. Use Control D again to duplicate. We'll set the horizontal angle here to exactly 60 degrees. Hit Control D again until we've got the whole circumference outlined. Rinse and repeat down below. Now it's time to pull in a cylinder hole and a sphere as well. We're going to set the diameter to whatever width your handle happens to be. Mine is 30.1. We're going to turn that sphere into a hole. We'll drag it to the top like this. Adjust the two holes. Now we'll group them. Then we're going to align everything again and group the whole lot of it. Now the reason I added a sphere to the top was that when you go to print this without the sphere, it's likely to sag and give you problems. And rather than adding support that you'll have to fight with later, and plus it'll waste a lot of filament, if you simply add a sphere like I did and create a bit of a dome on the top, it'll essentially generate its own support while it's printing. It's hard to see here, but trust me, there's a dome up there that will support itself during this printing process. And that's the design, folks. Just slice it and print it. After some creative painting techniques and a handle, this is what you'll end up with. 